Can you use laptop RAM in a desktop? Impossible, they say, but let's find out. Okay, so the first thing, this chair is really squeaky. Um, the first thing, I want to sort of apologize. Um, the week that I hit 500 subscribers, the week that I was going to do a 500 subscriber special, my college classes kicked in. And I have been unbelievably busy for the past month and I haven't recorded any content, and I haven't filmed anything, and I am so sorry. I'm actually filming four videos in one week, and I'm going to upload one video a week until I'm done with classes in May, and that should level itself out. If I have to film a video in between, I can do that. Um, but, yeah, I'm... I am unbelievably buried with with schoolwork, and I just haven't had time to film, and I apologize. So, anyway, on to the video. So, I've been building a computer. I actually sold my iMac and my MacBook Pro, took the money, and bought a Core i5, very low profile, very small desktop. <clears throat> and I had 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM already. But I really wanted 8. And if you know anything about RAM, it's not necessarily the cheapest thing in the world. And I needed this to be the cheapest computer ever. I, I, I had no money to build this thing. So usually laptop RAM, this is a stick of really old DDR that I pulled out of an iMac G4. Laptop RAM typically looks like this. It's very small, very low profile. You slot it into your computer and lock it down, and that's how it works. This is a stick of DDR2 RAM that I'm going to be using in the next video. Um, and as you can see, the size profiles are hugely different. And obviously this isn't going to lock in. This has more teeth. You pop it into place and two teeth clamp down right here and lock it in. But in all actuality, other than the teeth, these are the exact same memory-wise of RAM. There's no, oh, well, this is mobile RAM and this is desktop RAM. They're completely different. No, 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 no. They're actually, like I said, electronically-wise the same. So it made me start thinking, has anyone ever built a laptop-to-desktop RAM adapter. And it turns out they have. So, this is it. Um, it's not it's not name branded, as you can see, unless unless STD is the company name. Um, got it from China, as you can see. But yeah, this is 4 gigs of DDR3 laptop RAM. And it was ridiculously expensive when I bought it. All you do is you take it, you slot it in like you would a laptop. Actually, I might want to pull the teeth back. I had actually had a friend helping me install this the first time. So you install it like you would a laptop, lock it in, and then... Then you go over to the very ridiculously low-profile desktop PC you've been working on. You flip, for whatever reason, the DVD drive and the power supply up so that you can see what you're doing without pulling the hard drives free, you slot this in right down here. You slot it in the right way. And you lock it in like you would any piece of desktop. Right? And then after that, you push your peripherals back down. So let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see I'm running Yosemite on a Hackintosh. Um, I just updated my graphics card, that's why it says unknown, so I've got a 
download some NVIDIA web drivers. Um, I'm actually going to upgrade it to Sierra before I do anything. But as you can see, 8 gigabytes of DDR3. And if I go over here to memory, there's the 4 gig stick and there's the two 2 gigs that the desktop come with. As you can see, that was 4 gigs of laptop RAM. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the adapter works. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to favorite me. Make sure to tell your friends. And as always, take it easy.